Hello and welcome to A Bit About Everything. Today we will talk about a world shortage of a product you may not have heard about. Urea. Urea is a byproduct of industrial ammonia production and is the main ingredient in diesel exhaust fluid DEF, production. Diesel exhaust fluid is a critical component of every fuel program and has become a mandatory requirement for on-road fleets since 2010 and for off-road fleets since 2015. Today, most modern fleets require DEF to remain mobile. If a truck runs out of DEF, the engine's power is reduced and the vehicle's speed will be limited to 5 miles per hour until the DEF tank is refilled. So what exactly is diesel exhaust fluid and how is it manufactured? Diesel exhaust fluid, also known as AUS32 urea water solution, usually has a blue filter cap marketed as Add Blue. It is a liquid used to reduce the amount of air pollution created by diesel engine. DEF is a urea solution made with 32.5% urea and 67.5% dionized water. DEF is consumed in a selective catalytic reduction that lowers the concentration of nitrogen oxides in the diesel exhaust emissions from a diesel engine. Diesel engines are typically operated with a lean burn air to fuel ratio to ensure the full combustion of soot and to prevent exhausting unburned fuel. Excess air in diesel engines leads to generation of nitrogen oxides, which are harmful pollutants. Selective catalytic reduction is used to reduce the amount of nitrogen oxides released into the atmosphere. Diesel exhaust fluid or AdBlue is injected into exhaust pipe from a separate tank. The exhaust heat then decomposes DEF to ammonia. Within the selective catalytic reduction catalyst, the nitrogen oxides are reduced by the ammonia into water and nitrogen, which are both non-polluting. The water and nitrogen are then released into the atmosphere through the exhaust. Last September, urea prices were trading at 600 American dollars per metric ton. Prices continued climbing through the year to just shy of 800 American dollars per metric ton in December and a maximum of 925 American dollars per metric ton in April 2022, which is three times higher than normal rates. So what's causing the escalating prices? As the New York Times covered recently, firstly, the largest global exporter of urea is Russia, which is currently engaged in a war with Ukraine and consequently is facing worldwide sanctions. Secondly, in Europe, several manufacturers have reduced the production of urea due to increased natural gas prices, which has led to shortages and significant price increases. Thirdly, in addition to DEF, Urea is also a key ingredient in fertilizers. China, another key supplier of urea, has banned export of urea in order to meet agricultural demands in its own country. DEF shortage could ground commercial fleets since they mainly run on diesel. The collapse of DEF supply will basically devastate global trucking industry, which supplies pretty much everything in the world. That's why there is a global shortage of urea which one may argue is even more devastating than the potential shortage of microchips.